here. Catisfy, good morning, soft tackles. This here is a TMC 3761 hook. It's a, a size 18, which is a joke because it's actually a size 14. But I used to tie size 18s commercially, but I can't quite do that anymore, so I just use a 14 and tell people it's an 18. I'm going to use this Pearsall's Gossamer Silk thread. This is a very effective fly uh, on the McKenzie, also on the Deschutes, also on any of our western rivers or eastern rivers. If you have greenish body uh, emergent insects active now, come on, Jay, you got. Got a little bit of bulk. If we're going to do this, let's do it right. Anybody else ever find themselves? There we go. Okay, that's where I made my mistake. That didn't take too long. So you fish these. Uh, I fish these a lot in the evening. You fish them in early stages of the hatch. Uh, just before dark is a very common time. Um, just a couple of turns. These flies are especially effective, I think, because they are sparse. They have this little ephemeral uh, appearance to them. Now, this is a Metz hen cape grizzly. Here's what the whole thing looks like. They're amazing. Use the lower end of the cape for your steelhead flies, the upper end for your wings and your uh, soft tackles. Nice, long hackle, easy to work with. Strip the fluff off the base. We had a different video where we showed you how to prepare these feathers. You see how, how simple that was to tie? Using your thread, and this is, again, this uh, Pure Sols is a color fast thread, which means you cement it. Now that you, fly is gonna sink on its own because it's very sparse and stuff. Would you ever put a rib on those? Uh, no. No. I mean, could you? Of course. Uh, I don't think it's... Now, if you want to be a traditionalist, you I think you would not use a rib. Now, there's one turn. Ack! Because in heavier water, sometimes we'll put a, a rib of um, silver or gold wire on something like this and just get it down. So I, I don't think, i got two turns on there. I don't think this is a fly you're really trying to get down. This, this I agree, but sometimes we don't want it to come up in speedy tail outs. It's, it's Look, so who's shooting this? You know, who's, you know, who's, you know, you're just going to get me cracking up here. So this is a fly that, you're right, you don't want, well, why wouldn't you want to skate across the surface? It's not going to skate across the surface. Um, but I, I just don't think soft tackles in general are a fly that you think about wanting to add weight to. Now there is something called, if I, forgive me if I mispronounce it, the lysering lift, where you cast across or even a little bit upstream and you let your your light leader this fly will sink and then as it your line starts to come tight you lift your rod up and this imitates a a, a mayfly or a caddisfly coming to the surface 